Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas and today I want to show you a peek inside Upscale Down Home, Family Recipes All Gussied Up by Rachel Hollis. I actually looked through this on our new Amazon Live shopping channel, Amazon Live slash Cookbook Divas. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did because based on the cover it's just yet another cookbook. We looked through lots of them, but once I got inside I was blown away, love it, and I'm going to have to buy it. So Rachel Hollis is the author, and let me show you why I love it so much. came out in November 2016. Thomas Dunn Books, or Martin's St. Martin's Griffin, is the publisher. She d dedicated it to her mother for Mama, who taught me that food is the greatest love language. Table of contents, introduction of course, snacks, dips, casseroles, slow cooker, potluck, leftovers, something sweet, sips, and parties. Okay, so so far you're not figuring out why I freaked out that I love this so much. Let me read a little bit of the introduction. When I was 12 years old, I hosted my first party. It was a luau in my friend Ashley's backyard, and it was basically one big elaborate roost to wear a grass skirt in front of a boy named Brian. Sadly for me and my grass skirt, Brian spent most of that summer evening doing cannonballs instead of paying attention to me. But, on the bright side, I did discover a lifelong love for hosting parties. Okay, so I'll read this introduction later when I'm not on camera. Let's get to the recipes. She's encouraging us to throw parties. Alright, first chapter, snacks. Alright, here's why I love this cookbook. Here's the pigs in the blanket recipe. You see the way it's supposed to look when you're done with it. She's introducing it. This is an appetizer that never disappoints, especially when you upgrade your hot dogs for some great sausage instead. Then she shows you the ingredients, how many it makes, and step-by-step -step photos how it's supposed to look along the way. Love it, love it. And little tips down here in italics. Put dipping sauce into a small container and rest the pig on top for a cute display. And then the preparation. She does this for every recipe. So the photography is gorgeous and light and bright and airy. This is linguica stuffed mushrooms. And then she writes, this is such a special recipe for me because it's one of the dishes that made my mom famous. By famous, I mean that she won a prize for it and was featured in our hometown newspaper back in the 80s. And step-by-step -step photos for how to prepare it. Love, love, love it. Broccoli cheddar garlic pull-apart bread and everything along the way it's supposed to look like this is so perfect for beginning cooks or cooks that are nervous or people that aren't used to throwing parties or people like me that I'm really insecure like is it gonna look like this when I'm done what do I do to make it look that pretty aha I love it so I can't show you the whole cookbook so let's jump ahead to some of the more clever offerings such as oh my god French onion soup bites how cute is that that's so unusual and unique I love this cookbook Fried okra with buttermilk ranch. Cute. Dippable. Sticky ham and cheese. Okay, maybe that's not super clever, but love it. Spam and pineapple skewers. Look how cute those are. This lady knows how to throw a party and how to cook for a party. BLT bites. So cute. I feel like you'd have to make a million of them, though, because everybody would want five or six little bites. Now we're in her dips chapter. Dips are one of the most popular dishes that we feature on the Chic site. That must be her blog. Chic site is C-H-I-C site. Okay, jalapeno popper dip. Sounds good. Baked blueberry brie. I have baked brie many times. I never thought to put blueberries in there. Bean and cheese dip. Okay, normal, yeah. Chili cheese dip. Spinach artichoke dip. Grilled guacamole. Now we're in the casseroles chapter. And I think I remember there's some clever stuff here. Breakfast monkey bread. Tamale pie. I love tamale pie and I haven't made it for years. Now I want to. Balsamic bacon wrapped meatloaf. Does that look good or what to those of you that eat meat? Bacon and green chili mac and cheese. That's that's a good way to serve mac and cheese to adults. Green chicken enchiladas. I might make that for my boyfriend. I'm not used to working with chicken, but I'm willing to try for that. Supreme pizza pasta bake. Cute. Now we're in the slow cooker chapter. Very exciting. Jambalaya in a slow cooker. 
chicken and dumplings I've actually made in a slow cooker for my boyfriend. He loved it. Thanks to someone's YouTube recipe. I forget who. Was it th Six Sisters stuff or Three Sisters? Mango chipotle carnitas. Turkey chili. In the slow cooker. Barbecue baked beans. Been too long since I made those from scratch and didn't just open a can. Balsamic pot roast. It is pot roast season right now. It's still winter. Potluck. I don't throw potlucks anymore because I am so disappointed with my adult friends who are slightly well off and they bring chips and dips to a potluck. No. Boring. Bring something good. Such as a fresh green bean salad or a Chinese chicken salad or loaded baked potato salad. Not just chips and dips. My aunt always brings ambrosia to potlucks to this very day. She loves to bring it. It's very retro. Here's charro beans, fruit salad with raspberry dressing. I think we're still, yep, leftovers. All right, what are leftovers? Fried burritos made from the tamale pie back on page 75. That is ingenious. Cheesy latkes made from the pat patty potatoes back on page 83. If you had any leftovers left, you probably wouldn't. A breakfast scramble made with leftover accordion potatoes from page 134. You get the drift. Super cool. Sliders. Tuna noodle croquettes made from Aunt Linda's tuna casserole on page 88. Now we're in the something sweet chapter. I cannot. I have to own this. This cookbook. It's too cool. Mama's carrot cake. Or Mima's carrot cake. A jello pretzel salad. <laughs> Missouri cookies. I don't know what makes them Missouri-ish. Cocoa powder, margarine, peanut butter, vanilla extract, oats. Hmm. Apple cake. No bake cheesecakes in a jar. Adorable. I hope you would reuse the jars afterwards so they don't get wasted. Texas sheet cake. Raspberry peach dump cake. Now we're in the sips section and I'm going to get thirsty. Grandma's sweet tea. In case you don't know how to make sweet tea. Orange Sherbet Church Punch. Yum. That's definitely, I've had church punch like that before. Beer Limeade on a summer day. Lemon Lime Margarita Popsicles. Yes, please. Parties. Having planned 9,000 parties in my life, it shouldn't come as a surprise. The parties are one of my favorite things on the planet. And here's her parties chapter. Uh, she teaches us how to do a park party, a baby shower, patriotic po party, Sunday supper, summer cocktails, shopping party, park potluck, and book club. I'll just show you one of them. There's the park party. This is amazing. I have to go buy this. You can find our affiliate link down below in the description or grab it from your local library like I did. Thanks for watching this cookbook preview. You can see more of them at the cookbookdivas.com website and on our YouTube channel. We post cookbook news and info to Instagram and Facebook, and we have a new Amazon Live shopping channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, I hope.